Seat Covers on the 2021 F-150 uh, crew cab bucket seats. This one um, has just the park center console in the center uh, that lifts up. Um, for this one, it's not the workspace uh, with the console slides forward on that. Um, so when we come to installing, we got headrests, we got console lid. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to release the seat belt from this elastic that's on there by the factory. Uh, we replace that with one from the seat cover. Uh, first we'll go ahead and go to installing on the, uh, the headrest. We're going to slide this on. Carefully open that belt. We're going to slide this on. While the headrest is still on the seat, now be careful, you can see that this headrest ratchet, so you don't want to move it down too hard to actually damage that headrest, but if you can slide it down a little bit at a time, on each side, a little bit, a little bit, so we get that on. It just kind of helps hold that headrest while you're uh, fashioning that on. So next I'm going to recline the backrest. And then I'm going to lift the headrest up, and then you're going to depress these two buttons on each side there to remove the headrest. Now with the headrest low, I'll just pull that headrest down. I want to center the headrest. I can see I have it a little bit too far this way. So I want to center these seams on that headrest. So I'll just twist it like that. Those headrest seam centered. Pull that down so everything's looking nice. Now we'll just go ahead and tuck that Velcro behind that back edge and just press that down. Okay, so we're going to install the seat bottoms uh, first. Day, so we're going to install the seat bottoms uh, first. You'll take off these buckles um, off of the back edge. These buckles are going to go hook underneath the seat. And then back up to the back edge of the seat cover. That'll keep that thing from moving around or sliding forward. So we'll just put those back behind there. Carefully remove the Velcro. Off of here, you'll notice we have something hanging down here. This customer wanted a hanging under the knee pocket. Uh, but we're going to place that cover on with the long extending Velcros going to the front. There's also hook Velcro sewn on the inside edge here. So we're going to keep turned inside out. Right. We're going to tuck that cover right underneath the front of that plastic right there. So my Velcros are right there. Okay. What you want to do is really pull that cover back and get that corner and that side of that cover looking really nice. Pull this side back. Well, next we're going to take this big thickened edge of that seat cover and we're going to tuck it right behind that plastic column right down there and that's going to hold that in place. Let's go ahead and work that guy right under the... And we'll just tuck the seat cover right underneath this little plastic here. Okay, then we're just going to take the back edge of the seat cover, tuck it into the seat. Okay. I'm using my hand to curl that all the way around, down along the back edge. This inside, I'm going to just take, I'm going to just tuck that right down in along here. The, uh, the hook Velcros on this inside edge, I'm just going to push down and connect to that fuzzy carpet down on the inside edge of the seat. That's going to hold that just nicely. Next, I want to route these long Velcros underneath the seat and uh, fasten them to the back edge of the cover. I'm going to push that in and tighten that up just a little bit. I'm going to lift that seat all the way up as high as they can possibly go. 
To route those things all the way to the back, we'll just go ahead and fold them in half lengthwise with the sticky going in. You can see that'll stiffen them up just like a ruler. I'm going to look underneath that front edge. Now we're going to tuck these Velcros, and the whole while, we want to keep them all the way up. As you can see these wires here, we want to make sure that the Velcro goes to the seat side, avoiding any of these wires, any mechanisms here. Same thing with this inside one. I'm going to feed that through because I don't want to press any wires down to the seat itself. So I'm just going to feed that right through the back edge. I want to make sure that we clear this wire on the back side. And we're going to just pull that tight and fasten that Velcro right through that back edge of that cover. I'm going to come back over and we're going to connect the other side. Here. Again, we're going to load that wire. Velcro so we're not pinning trapping that wire so we're gonna connect this hook right up to the back edge and then here's the back edge of our seat cover okay so we're gonna just press that over connect that right up we're gonna come over right in here easiest way to connect that is when you push just be pulling with your other hand back to connect it right here and we'll come back and just connect seat bottom done okay next we're going to install the uh, driver top as you'll see in the inside of the driver top in the inside right front it'll say DT also um, we put the label on the back side of the driver's side and this is imperative it's very important that you do because on that outside edge is where we've sewn that airbag seam so your airbag will deploy so we'll just go ahead and slide that over nice and easy you want to work it a little bit on each side all your way down so you're going to pull down on the inside then the outside then the inside then the outside we're going to line up that seam, come along the outside so everything's nice and smooth. We can see our headrest openings are positioned just perfectly on that. So you're going to want to tuck in the push button side of that uh, headrest piece first to avoid damaging anything on that. So we'll tuck that over onto the other one. Okay, and we're going to come down on the inside edge here. We're going to pull down, smooth everything real good. I'm going to recline the backrest so we can access our fuzzy carpet down there. So as we see um, on the underside here, there's fuzzy carpet here. That's what this hook Velcro is going to stick to. So I'll get in here and I'm going to just pull down really hard just push that hook velcro stick it right to the front part of that seat same thing here inside I'm just gonna push that right over stick it to it as you can see had a little wrinkle I want to fix right here so I could just pull that down get a little tighter goes away so we have hook velcro here that's going to stick to the fuzzy carpet on the seat. And we'll go over to the inside, stick that down, pull down on the cover, fasten that in, fasten our remaining piece here. So when it looks like 
I have a little extra here and I'm not covering quite enough there. That just tells me the cover needs to be slid over that way a little bit. There we have full coverage on the flap there. We'll pull down and we'll connect all the way. We'll notice this customer has a generous map pocket on there. Next we'll go to installing the console lid. So just carefully open up all those Velcros. Here and here. Um, we have latch opening for the front. So I just take that and flip that thing right around. And then we're just going to push the button. Lift that up. And run these Velcros around the back edge. And just temporarily connect those. ones. So on these guys to help hold these in we can use this hook velcro to kind of hold those into place. Likewise with this one. I'm pull it back, get the coverage, pull it tight here. Now we'll connect these two. Right here. And we'll go connect them. Two, and that'll help pull those down. 